Yeah, I'm not going to try it too yeah. much. Well, that was a good try. I thought that was pretty nice. Oh, Quentin King there. Yeah, there you go. Playing a little uh, John Mayer riff. Kind of, uh, yeah. Paul here. We're at Music Villa at Bozeman, Montana. And uh, we are checking out the new John Mayer Martin OMJM model. So OM, because it's an OM body shape and scale length. Uh, JM stands for John Mayer. And uh, 20 years it's been since the first John wow. Mayer model. So wow. this is a 20-year anniversary. Same guitar, platinum gray burst finish. Uh, it's got a special tag in there, I believe, signed. John Mayer signed. Looked like this one's number 90. Wait a second, he actually uh, signed it. Yeah. Dang. Okay. Yeah. And a little signature right there mm -hmm. on the fingerboard. So this guitar, and I believe it's the same as the first one, which we have right here. Um, this first one, you know what's cool about it? It's still going. This this one back here is number 7,881. Wow. Okay. So sometimes they do a run and it just kind of, it might yeah. fizzle out after right. a couple years. But 20 years, this guitar is still in the, in the lineup. Still rolling Which is through. impressive. Well, because um, he's still... He's producing, still, yeah. creating incredible music. So. Matter of fact, he's got a uh, another one of these coming out here real soon. It's a OM45 style, so uh -huh. fancier appointments, but also in this uh, really cool finish. Uh, but these guitars are they're Indian rosewood back and sides, and the tops are uh, Engelmann spruce. Engelmann, very and nice. It's, uh, I think quarter inch scallop braces on the inside. Standard OM, like the longer scale, mm -hmm. and this one's, you know, surprising to me, it's 1 11 sixteenths, because John's a big guy, and I just, it's funny to me that, but it's kind of like you, I whatever I give you, you you play it, some people mm -hmm. really need certain nut widths. This one's 1 11 sixteenths, which seems like it would be too skinny for mm -hmm. him, because he's a big guy. Well, you know, you but, imagine that, I mean, he's a f an amazing acoustic player, yeah. evidenced Countless times, but right. he's also great electric player. Right, so, so I wonder if maybe he's yeah, just that he feels sense. comfortable there, yeah. and then he likes it's less of a gap between yeah. back and forth. Yep, that would make good sense. I don't know, but he also on his stagecoach model, I believe that one's one and seven eighths, which is even the opposite extreme. So he's probably just one of those guys too that can just he just he just picks up a anything. different tool for different applications, and yeah. so and certain. Certain things feel more comfortable exactly. under the circumstances, depending yep. on what you're trying to extract out of an instrument. Um, Very true. But in any case, it's I mean, it's it's John Mayer. Yeah. One of the, and I we've said this before. Like there are some guitar heroes out there, but as far yeah. as the the broadly um, current relatable yeah. accessible guitar yeah. heroes, I mean, there's you can go into any subgenre and you're going to find quote-unquote, shredders that are amazing. And there's sure. no shortage of amazing guitar players. Uh, but where it starts getting thinner is when you add great yeah. singers and songwriters. Yeah. And then, you know, that dramatically narrows the pool. And then when you get to folks who do all of those things. Like yeah, acoustic very, very and well. electric. And, Acousa and just, you know, uh, amazing performers and still producing. blues, rock. Yeah. He can do Hippie jams. anything. He does it, does it all. You know, I, I saw a video of him playing with one of my favorite musicians, Jacob Collier, and mm -hmm. they, oh, yeah, they yeah. play together. So, I didn't know that. You know. That's cool. Anyway. Um, yeah, no, he's amazing. Um, and we've talked about him before. He's yeah. he's not too far away. He has yeah. he's, uh, he, some he local hangs roots. through these areas yeah. on occasion. And he's been just incredibly generous with his our time. Goal, and our goal is, you know, to have him come in here and... Do, do <laughs> not to kick you out. But no, that'd be fine. I would happily we'll, we'll put him step in between aside. us. We don't want you to leave. We just want uh, him to come in and you know demo his own guitar. I would totally. Was it fanboy? How do you say that? Yeah, like, yeah. No, I, would, I, I'm total fanboy too. I love John Mayer. He's oh, yeah. great. There you go. It's weird. I've been listening I'm, to John Mayer since the very first yeah, same record one. ever. Yeah. No. Uh, Room for Squares. Yep. And and remember, I think uh, he had some stuff before. Yeah. That. And there's a picture of him here in the store on that tour. Really? With me and him, we're both little young guys. <laughs> He's way younger. Well, when you say like 20 years that this thing's been going, it's like years, that's, yeah. that's that's amazing. That's a, and it's a, before that because 20 years. He um, was going before, right, obviously, before exactly. you get your signature model. Yeah. But it's I think it's a recognition not just of his contribution to music, acoustic, electric, and otherwise, yeah. but just the staying power, his continued relevance. So yep. Um, well, because he's, he's a good. A good dude, and he writes good stuff, and he plays amazing guitar.
Yeah. Let's hear this thing a little bit. Oh, more. okay. Well, I mean, I could do a little bit more, but uh, I'm not going to try and do any Mayor stuff. It's cool. Though. I can't play his stuff. He's got the magic yeah, thumb. Do whatever else you want. So, you know, when we talk about uh, signature models, it's not just that we were talking about fanboys. If I had the disposable income, I would get this because I am a fanboy. Yeah. Uh, oh, what is. Am I sensing? Oh, the pickup too. There's yeah, a pickup. Yeah, it's a Fishman. Um, oh, what do they call it? The Gold Gold Plus or something. Mm. Uh, it's it's something you know specifically that John wants in his guitar. Mm -hmm. But it is a great pickup. It's um, very nice sounding. Which we should do a video on pickups too. But um, yeah, it's it's it comes with pickup. So. I think, uh, you know, we've talked about signature models, Martin. Everybody does a lot of signature models. And yeah. there are folks who are like, oh, I love that artist. Or people who are like, you know, am I paying a lot of extra mm -hmm. for the name? Yeah. Um, and I don't have a strong opinion about that. I just bought a signature model, my first ever signature model. It's electric, Dusenberg, oh, yeah. the Tom Bukovac. So if yeah. you're watching this channel, you should definitely go check out the homeschooling. Mm -hmm. uh, Tom Bufko back yeah. channel. He's amazing. Um, well, but you signature buy it, you models. Buy it, you either buy it if you're a major super fan and you like yeah. to collect things, or you buy it because it's just a great guitar. Yeah, well, that's what I was going to say is this <clears throat> qualifies for both. You know, it's yeah. an amazing guitar. It's, uh, it plays really well. I mean, it's just, it it's is just, a Martin. It's classic. But it just has it's classic the, the Martin OM sound. It's very clear. And it's cool. very clear if you buy this, you will play like John Mayer. Very true. Uh, yeah. You will instantly, it's kind of magical how well, it, quickly you, yeah. you just, you I'm will. already, I've learned five new blues licks. I like it. 20th anniversary, Martin OM JM, platinum gray burst. Available here at Music Villa. Check it out on our website, musicvilla.com. Thank you. Yes. And thanks for watching.